Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the live show. Huh? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that happen before. What happened? I don't know. It was just like, do you want to put this on somewhere else? And I was like, oh, there is nowhere. Let's go there is nowhere else. Let's, can't pull over any further. <laughs> I'm already pulled over. Oh, man. So, uh, how's everybody doing? You guys having a good day? Hello, everyone. Well, Ben, you were first. Congratulations. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, nice work. You did Hello. it. Hello. Hello from Las Vegas. Oh. Wow. That in Nevada? Oh, they're at the Polynesian Village. Is what? Is did it? you just ask where Las Vegas was? Yeah, is it in Nevada? Yes. Is it pronounced Nevada or Nevada? I think it depends on... Ooh, our mics are not even... Hello. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we are good at live streaming. Oh my gosh, How's it that's going, really everybody? funny. I, I'm going to have to rewatch this and see what we sounded like. Right? It's probably just like we're in a very, like in another room. <laughs> Hello. Sound, sound is echoey. Are your mics on? Oh my of course gosh. Not. Can you are, Can you hear us now? <laughs> your sound is off. Oh no. Oh, good times. We did it, everybody. Ah. Wait, let me, can you hear us now? How, how fun was that microphone sliding in <laughs> we super were just, fast? We were just joshing with you. We knew. Mic check. Is this thing on? <laughs> we knew. We really knew. <laughs> we were oh. like totally talking to everybody. By the way, Ben, you yeah, were first. You were first. Congrats. <laughs> nice we, work. We said that. Um, somebody just said, sorry, I didn't catch your name, but you said that you cried when you saw Jackson get his hair cut. And that was one of my favorite videos. Yeah, it was one of my favorite yeah. videos too. That was, uh, honestly. If you haven't seen it, mm -hmm. be sure to go and check it out. It was very special. It was a super special day. I'm going to I'm gonna test one thing really quick. Let's see what happens. Nothing. All right, cool. What, what was supposed to happen? It was supposed to, to say thanks for coming to the chat. Who? Like it was supposed to like leave a little message down there saying oh, really? that. Yeah, it didn't, didn't do it. So I got I'm working on it. <laughs> So you we know. got one of these things from the treasure truck. It's like, what does that do? I don't know. It said subscribers. That was what it said. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, but we got one of these things that um, it's supposed to make our live show better. Yeah, stream deck. We just have to learn how to use I it. I got to learn how to use it. There's a yeah. few other things that I'm going to like try to change. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, hi, Mark. Hello. Oh, Anthony's here. Oh, hey, Anthony. Wow. Everybody's here going? today. Yeah. Anastasia said, going to book our soon-to-be one-year-old's first haircut in January. He'll be 16 months by then. I think that's about the time that we got Jackson's haircut. No, he On was On his two. second birthday. Yeah, sorry. You're right. Is <laughs> when we got his, his haircut. Sorry. But Don't we probably, push the red button. We should have done it probably sooner, to be honest. Oh, look. Allie's here. The party's here. Stream deck is easy. Mostly plug and play. Yeah, I learned that. I just got to figure out what things I want to plug in order for them to play. So Mark said, got to say, I'm loving the weekend live shows. And just so you guys know, I want to keep you updated on like our schedule. We plan on doing live shows every weekend. It's either going to be on Saturday or Sunday, one of the days. But that's just sort of how our schedule's like panning out right now. And then during the week, we'll be doing more theme park vlogs, like around Orlando vlogs. And then whatever day we don't do the live show on the weekend, we'll do a home vlog. Oh. What? The weekend. Oh. Speaking of the weekend, <laughs> yeah, the name of this live show is all about Halloween stuff. Yes, and the weekend mm -hmm. is going to have a Halloween Horror Nights house. Yeah, so they at both did. Coasts. Is it for both coasts? Yeah, I did read that a lot of people think he's going to be at the one in Hollywood. I would, I would believe it. Like that, he might be one of the scare actors. Yeah, one like of the he might be in the house. Wouldn't that be so scaring. cool? I would love to be there when he's there. Yeah, I know some people that will be there. Really? Yeah, it's probably going to be opening night. Oh, yeah, yeah, that right? makes sense, yeah. That People makes like sense. to go on opening night. Yeah. So I'm excited. I um, was reading about his After Hours album and just about, because he's very big on, like, story. Like, Oh, we what? should mention that. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but we should mention that this this house is based on that album. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the yeah. After Hours album. Yeah, so. Because it has a name. Hold on, I'll figure out. The house has the, a name? Yeah, the house well, has, like, see, a full if, name. If the stream deck worked, we could, like, pop up the the picture of it i mean it does work i just haven't set that up yet <laughs> okay but yes i could do that the name of this live show is betsy <laughs> okay is it <clears throat> oh somebody said um gouched glamour said how would you even know it was him though and that's true you probably wouldn't really know it was him right 
but it'd still be cool that he to be like he was in there that's like when johnny depp goes to um be oh. in the 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 thing ali said that's a good point ali said the weekend's on tour right now so i'm not sure if he'd be in the house so he actually came i think he was in tampa yesterday or the day before Mm -hmm. in orlando at some point like he's he's like here in florida right now he's it's not like a european tour no so he very easily pop over for a night maybe i mean i don't when is he when is like when does his tour go to california i don't know we can find out yeah because maybe that's when he would do but like i think that i think that sometimes uh it's easier for people to do things than you would imagine. What do you mean? Like, what's her name? Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Her private jet has like the most miles on it in the last month. Yeah, but that's because I was reading about that because there was that whole scandal with her using her jet the most, like more than the Kardashians even. But she, she lends her jet out. Yeah, but I'm just saying like, that just proves that like if Taylor Swift wanted to be somewhere, she could be there quick. She doesn't have a Halloween Horror Nights house. She should. <laughs> I'd go through it. I uh, would too. It's called The Weekend After Hours Nightmare. Yeah. So I was reading um, through, there's a website that was like kind of going through the storyline. So what he normally does with his albums is he will uh, tell like a complete story through the song. Okay. Like there's a, it's like like a complete like introduction, middle, climax. Like it's like the whole story. You, you get like just the in full, one song. No, sorry. Album. Through the album. album okay. Yeah. So I was reading and um, one of the songs, which I can't, I'd have to find the exact article that I was reading, but they said that in one of the songs, he's kind of playing like this stalker, like Michael Myers-esque character, like a murderer, okay. basically. Um, and so that's kind of what he's doing is he's like stalking you through the house. Right. And so, yeah, I think it's going to be... So, I mean, I, I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be really cool. Uh, I hope that it's because sometimes when you go through these houses, it's hard to follow the storyline, you know, because right. you're, yeah, yeah. You're, scared. you're being scared. Yeah, yeah. You're like, it's dark. You're you're kind of rushed through the houses. You don't get to like take your time. They kind of like conga line you through the house, which is the only thing I don't really love. But um, so I hope you can follow the story. And that's why we like going multiple times. Yeah. But for people who can't. Right. You know, that's the thing that kind of stinks. Right. So, yeah, I just hope that we can follow the story. All right. So, yeah. the weekend. Oh, here, really quick. What? The weekend is at SoFi Stadium, September 2nd through 3rd. That's the Rams Stadium. So, when is their, their Horror Night starts after ours? Their Horror Night starts the um, the 8th or the 9th. Mm. Like the same, same day as uh, D23. Okay. Uh, Hollywood. What? Oh, HH in Hollywood. Why does it keep wanting to, me to come to Orlando? It's like... It's like, just go to Orlando. Just go to Orlando. <laughs> I'll, it's too far away. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Where are dates? September 8th. So, yeah. Hmm. If he's there, what is? where is he at on September 8th? Well, you have you can look it up. Oh, yeah. I can look it up. Sorry. <laughs> um, but the whole thing that I wanted to bring up was that The weekend has a house, house at both Orlando and Hollywood Mm -hmm. and that's not the only house that is um, Like doubled on both coasts. Yeah, we have Universal Classic Monsters Mm -hmm. And that is on both coasts and the one in Orlando is part one and the one in California is part two So like I don't I don't know if they're like Really trying to get people to go to both events. Okay, but like I feel like the hardcore Horror Nights fans oh, for sure. will go to both events so they can follow the story all the way to its finale. Okay. So I'm wondering, like, do you think that Orlando's will be left with a cliffhanger so that it could be its own story? Probably. That and makes then Halloween, sense. And then Hollywood's just, like, picks up there? Yeah. And then I wanted to mention, too, because a lot of you guys left um, comments on the video where you did the Halloween Horror Nights update. You were like, who's this guy in the middle of the t-shirt yeah. of, for the Halloween, for the... Uh, the classic mo- sorry yeah <laughs> I had like a brain yeah, yeah. i just had a short um the classic monster shirt that was anubis anubis yeah you're like who's this guy right but why i guess is my biggest question i think he's the bad guy right like he's the guy that they're all they're all gonna team up to fight anubis do you think that that's the end of orlando's is that like you start out being attacked by these three monsters mm-hmm. you know the mummy dracula and Wolfman? Yeah. Um, and they're all coming at you. And then the fourth comes in, Anubis. Mm-hmm. And then they start to like 
see that and they're like, oh no, like we should fight against that guy, like Alien versus Predator style. Well, right, yeah. And so you're like, that's the ending is like the big fight between them and then the next one in Hollywood picks up. Yeah. Where it's just like he's already there. Probably. And they're fighting against him. I wonder what their shirt looks like. I guess it would it'd be based like the shirt would, would really tell you. Right. Hmm. I want the mummy to open. So uh, I have heard some rumors about the mummy. Um, August? It's definitely going to open up this month. Well, I shouldn't say definitely. The rumors are that it's going to open up this month. Mm-hmm. Um, it does run currently, like it is running. And I did hear that it was a full retrack, so that's good news that it is running. Because if you go into the, like not the gift shop, mm-hmm. like yeah, the gift shop. Yeah. You can hear it running and like effects happening in there. So like it is, Mummy is an indoor roller coaster, yes. So like my guess is that it will be open for Halloween Horror Nights. And our Halloween Horror Night starts on the 2nd of September. Mm-hmm. So like I would imagine that they would want it to be open for Halloween Horror Nights. So like before the end of of August. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to mention this really quick too because we, um, (laughs) sorry, I wanted to mention this really quick. So um, we've gotten a lot of comments about Water Park Week. Like lots of people have been requesting for you to do Water Park Week again. Would you do it again? Yeah, why not? So the only thing, so the year that we did Water Park Week, uh, all of the parks were open. Right. So right now, only one of Disney's water parks are open. Right. So I don't know if we could do a full week. We could do Typhoon Lagoon, mm-hmm. uh, Aquatica. Yep. The Adventure Island. Yeah. Um, What else? Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What did you say? You said, you said Aquatica. H2O. Island, uh, H- Island H2O. Yeah. Live. Is it still called live? I don't know. There's all Island H2O. Yeah. How many is that? Five? That's five. That's a full week, right? What did I do last week? How did many? I do, or last last time, did I do seven? I don't, I think so, because we had, we had uh, Blizzard Beach. Right. I guess, what would the next one be? Would it be like Discovery Cove? That's not really a water park. Kind of. I mean, what are the rules of water park week? I mean, I think you kind of made it up, so you Make have it up. your own rules. Yeah, I don't know. Saying Discovery Cove. Oh yeah, Legoland has a water park. Oh yeah, but I don't We've know if that could been. be that. I don't know if that would make up a whole video. I've never stepped foot in it. Yeah, further we did. Than, we went like one step in and oh. kind of took a pan around and then left. Okay. Yeah, Evan. Good point. He said it has to have water slides. So Discovery Cove doesn't have water slides. Right. But it is definitely a water park. Okay. Yeah. So could we do Water Park Week again without Blizzard Beach? Yeah. I mean, I could do. Five days for sure. Okay. 100% five days. All right. Um, hmm. Ooh, oh, this is a good question. What? Before we go on to a different topic, speaking of water parks. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Ty- Blizzard Beach is like they're doing some major work to Blizzard Beach. Okay. They just pulled in like a giant crane. Oh. To like do something. We don't know what. And they're the big, uh, what is it? Team Boat Springs? Mm-hmm. They're redoing that entire track, that entire slide. Nice. Got ripped out completely and they're putting oh. it, yeah, they're putting it re- back in. Wow. So, interested um, to see that one. I did read a question from, I don't remember who the name was, I'm sorry, it's gone. But they asked, so how long do we film in the parks for like a 20 or 30 minute video? Oh. Usually we will- Like how long am I there? Yeah, you're there for like four or five hours. Four or five hours. Sometimes yeah. more, depending on like what you're doing. Right. Um, but the video itself is usually about an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. That's like my goal. Mm-hmm. Um, Sometimes longer, though. Depends on like how many rides you ride, how much food you eat, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So um, when you went to Halloween Hornet, going, sorry, we're going to be jumping back and forth from topics just based oh, yeah. on your comments. Um, but when you were at uh, Universal for the HHN update, I'm going to start calling Halloween Horror Nights HHN, which if you guys don't know, that's just HHN is Halloween Horror Nights. Right. Um, we, we, you were there like the day before they added in like the tractor and the contest yeah, sign. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff like that. I feel like somebody at Universal is just watching my videos and just being like, hmm, 
Tim, put a video up. Let's put something else out. <laughs> or like they see when I'm at the park and they're like, um, wait, wait. <laughs> don't put it out. Don't put it out. I know that that's not true because yeah. what happened was uh, the plan was I went on a Monday the first week that they started putting out stuff mm-hmm. and there was nothing out. And right. then they put it all out on Tuesday morning. The very next day. So I was like, all right, fine. I'll go on Tuesday. <laughs> and then there was a big storm Monday night. Mm-hmm. So they didn't put out a lot because I feel like they were, they couldn't. It was storming like wild. And so then on Wednesday, a lot of new stuff out. Right. So, so it's yeah. just my luck. But we will be back to see all of the new stuff. I'm excited. I want to see it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, What's the temperature like in Orlando in early February? It varies so much. Sometimes it's cold. I I have to go back. What I would recommend, and if you have time to do this, um, I would go back and watch our videos from those time periods and just see how we're dressed, honestly. And I think sometimes you will say the temperature in the videos. Right. We're kind of like an almanac, right? An almanac? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Poor Richard. So I actually saw, I watched something that was talking about almanacs and how their, how they come up with their predictions is like secret. It's not something that's released to the public. Oh, I thought they just looked at years past. No, there's like a whole. Wait, do almanacs predict? Yeah. I thought that they were just like the a list of things that happened in the past. No, they also predict. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I had no idea. Because it was talking about how like Coca-Cola, like their recipe is like a secret, like only one person or maybe two people, but no more than two people know at a time the recipe. And like when the when a person dies, then the next person knows. Like That, that seems kind of thing. impossible for Coca-Cola. Why? Because like there's, there are people working in that plant. Yeah, but they don't know what they're doing. They're just dumping like tubs of syrup into another tub of syrup. Okay. Yeah. Like they interviewed some people from the Coca-Cola plant and they're like, I don't know. <laughs> they're like, I don't get paid enough to pay attention. <laughs> they're like, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that was that was kind of like so. The almanac is like secret, like nobody knows. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Was the almanac started by Benjamin Franklin? I don't know. That's that's who wrote Poor Richards. Oh, the really? Poor Richards almanac was okay. Benjamin Franklin. But like, was there an almanac before that? That's my question. Uh-huh. All right. So um. Halloween Horror Nights. Moving right along. Uh, we're going to be doing more updates yes. throughout the season. Stuff is starting to show up. Yes. It's coming quick. I'm super excited. So speaking of horror, or not horror, but of Halloween events in general, I, we know that we're talking about Halloween in August. And that yeah, we for realize that. most people, <laughs> they're like, hey, what the heck? It's August. It's still summertime. Like, why are we talking about Halloween? But it's such a big thing here in Florida. And all of the events start like promoting their events and all of, you know, like we've always done this, like ever since we started the channel, this is kind of what we've always done is right. talk about horror nights. As soon as they start putting up props, you know, we go and we check it out and we show you guys because we are so excited about it. That's just something we've always done, but right. there's not just HHN, not just Halloween Horror Nights. They also have um, kid-friendly events at SeaWorld. They have SeaWorld Spooktacular. We'll be doing that with Jackson. Yeah, there is they're doing the, uh, Bush Gardens, they're doing their first spooktacular this year. Oh, cute. Okay. So usually at Bush Gardens, they have Hallow Scream, which is their adult nighttime event. Mm-hmm. And then they have the the Sesame Street. Yes, which uh, is so cute. It's a Halloween event. Yeah. But this year they're doing a spooktacular. And I was thinking like maybe it's because SeaWorld's not going to do theirs, mm-hmm. but SeaWorld is also doing theirs. Okay. Because I was because SeaWorld is that area where Spooktacular was is all gone now because they're putting a roller coaster there. Yeah. So if you watched um, Tim's video from the Beer Fest at SeaWorld, he kind of talked a little bit about all of the events coming up, and he talked about the um, the new roller coaster, like briefly about the new roller coaster that's coming yeah. to SeaWorld. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. We'll just have to like we're going to go and we're going to see it and you know check out the updates and the construction updates and all that. But um, there's also events like. Uh, Legoland has Bricktacular. Oh yeah, so we'll Bricker be. Treat. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, be gonna, we'll be going to Bricker Treat, and then um, ooh, what? Va- Vana T Sin says Halloween starts August first for me. I work for one of the biggest haunts in the country. We train all year long. What's the biggest haunt in the country? The biggest haunt in the country. Yeah, what is it? Where do Would you work? Would that be like Netherworld? Can you tell us? I'm sure they can tell us. 
Oh, another thing. Yeah. So Evan says Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, we'll be going, we'll, we'll be there as well. We'll be going to Halloween Horror Nights over in Hollywood as well. So we're going to try to check out as many of the not Halloween. Not scary. Yeah, not scary. As many of the Halloween events as we possibly can, as well as Sir Henry's Haunted Trail, which I think is one of the best local haunts. Yeah. And um, Stream and Scream, I believe, we'll be doing as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> so get ready for all of that. And Stream and Scream is interesting because you stay in your car. Yeah. And that's fun. Like, I like that. <laughs> like, it's cool that you get to, like, stay in your car. And I feel like if you are more scared of Halloween events, mm -hmm. I feel like Stream and Scream might be... It's still scary. Like, you still yeah, got very scared. I did. Yeah, yeah. I was scared in there. But, like, you're in your car, so you feel a little bit safer because you can be like, ah. Right. Like, oh, no. <laughs> or yeah. if you, like, really wanted to and you're like, I'm done, you just roll up your window. Yeah. And be like, I'm not... I'm not doing this anymore. Don't. Oh, here. Wait. Vanna said Woods of Terror in Greensboro, North Carolina. Oh. Whoa. I've never heard of that. That sounds uh, scary. Woods of Terror. Woods of Terror. Hmm. Okay. Back when I was in high school, my very. Oh, not, she said, or they said, not the biggest, but one of. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. My, uh, one of the first times that I went to a, like a, a local haunt. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it was, but I remember. What were you just? I was looking at you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was just looking at you on the on the, the screen on, the on like screen. a monitor. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one of the very first haunted attractions that I ever went to um, was like just the haunted trail out, mm -hmm. and I have no idea where it was. I remember like driving out into the woods to get there. Yeah, and then I remember it being so silly because. There were these guys that would come out with chainsaws mm -hmm. and i was like this is my first time and i was like hyping myself up i'm like oh my god it's gonna be so scary <laughs> it's gonna be scary stuff that's happening and uh it was really fun like i really enjoyed it but like these guys came out with chainsaws and they like started chasing after people and everybody was running i was like why are we running <laughs> like i don't think they're really gonna get us with these chainsaws and then there was like this dragon that like came out of it was like a like a giant puppet yeah that came out and it was like Bruh! and i think it even breathed fire well, it seems dangerous. Right. It was in the <laughs> woods. And I'm like, we're going to lie. We're going to burn this forest down. But I was like, remember thinking that. And I was like, well, this is fun. We should do this more often. <laughs> and we did. I went to a, like a haunted hayride like that mm -hmm. when I was, I was not a kid. I was a kid, but I wasn't like. She was three years old. I wasn't like five. You know, I was probably like 13 or 14. Okay. You know, I was like old enough to know right. that it wasn't like real, but I was still very scared. And, um, oh no, what's this? What? Oh no. Yeah. I didn't hear about that. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, so yeah, so I went to this haunted hayride and you literally just rode in the back of this, um, trailer full of hay, basically like on the back of a tractor Yeah. and like it scared. I mean, I was really scared. And it was literally just like Michael Myers and like Freddy Krueger, like all of the, you know, the face masks of like the people, you know, right. with like chainsaws or like machetes or whatever. Just like they didn't even get Those, close like, to machetes you. full of blood, right. like the, the flowing blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the scream mask, the ghost face mask with like you have a little pump underneath I your shirt. I think it was, it was like, before. I think it was before uh, that. But yeah, but it was like they were just chasing after the hay, the, tra the tractor. They were, it you're like, even... tractor, come on, man. But just then, drive faster. But then the tractor stops and then you have to get out and walk this, back. This must have been the same thing because this is exact. Do you remember a dragon? Was there a dragon? I don't remember that. Because this is exactly what I did. Yeah, but I you remember. You had to get on a hay thing. I didn't know you had to walk back. And I oh, was yeah. like, whose idea was that? Like, I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk back. And especially not with Michael Myers. Right. Like. This uh, you were there the same night as me. Maybe we met each other before we even knew Maybe. it. Maybe we both looked at it and said, "What is going on? <laughs> what is this?" Oh man. Oh, so this is a good question. Lisa said, "Do you know where they're having scare actor dining since Monsters Cafe is closed?" So in one one in one of the last HHN videos that um, Tim like did one of his update videos, he he actually showed it in the video, but it's going to be at. Louis. I almost said Leo's. Leo's. I'm like, that's not what it's Leo's called. Leo's Pizza. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> no, it's Leonardo's in Gainesville. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Louis Pizza. Yeah. Which I'm very interested to see how they do because, like, Monstrous Cafe makes sense. Yeah. Right? It did make sense. It had Louis, all the... 
the built-in theming. It doesn't um, make any sense. Wanted to mention really quick. Uh, Ali said, am I yellow today? So sometimes your chats, like your comments are like highlighted in yellow. Yeah. And yeah, yours is yellow today. And there's no reasoning behind it. Like, no I don't, rhyme or reason. It, somebody said it was because it's people who did a super chat, but like we don't have that turned on. Somebody else said it was somebody who was a subscriber, but like that's not right either because somebody said, I'm a subscriber, is mine yellow? And theirs wasn't. What? Leonardo's closed. Oh, it did? How did it close? Wait, what's there now? I've, it's been so long since we've been to Gainesville. I need to look. Oh, man. My that's goodness. crazy. How did it close? It was like the place. Right. And it had a, like a regular restaurant attached to it, too. Yeah. How are you going to close two restaurants? I mean, maybe the pandemic. That would I make sense. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Um, Jody asked, has Jackson gotten his second dose uh, of his COVID vaccine yet? And he did. Yeah. We yeah. had to wait a little bit because of my COVID. But he um, he did fine. Yeah. Um, I want to be yellow. You are yellow, Kathy. Yeah. You did it. I don't know. I, I don't even understand how or why. Not as good as satchels, though. What is that? Well, I don't know. We haven't been to Gainesville. This is new stuff. I think we need to go to Gainesville for the weekend. We probably should and just, go. Like, see what's up. Just go up there. Go up to, to go. what's Micanopy. What's the place outside with the, with the an antiques and stuff? Williston? Williston, yeah. Was it Micanopy? I thought it was Micanopy. It was just south of Gainesville. What's south? I think Micanope? it is Micanope, yeah. What's what's Payne's Prairie is in Micanope, right? I have no idea. I think it's it's just outside of Payne's Prairie. Yeah. Um, let's all be yellow together. I, there's, Everybody that wants to be yellow is yellow. There's nobody that said like I want to be yellow. Yeah, and there it's very strange. Oh, here, um, Bailey said, "Any news on Volcano Bay? What's happening there?" I think they're just wondering like how Volcano Bay is oh, doing. Oh, okay. We need to go back. So when we plan out Water Park Week, that will be one of the places that Tim goes. Yes. Yeah. Um. Carmela said, are you cruising soon? And we are. We're very excited. I can't yeah. wait to see The Wish and to eat the food. And I'm just very excited for the entertainment. I can't wait. Speaking of The Wish, uh, now that like it's been out and people have started doing videos about it and stuff like that, like we're we're going soon. But like, is there anything that you feel is lacking, like that you haven't seen from videos from The yeah, Wish? Yeah, what would you like for us to specifically show you? Yes. Let us know. Um, what was, was there about the... Oh, yeah. Um, European cruising. Ooh. That would be nice. I'd like yeah. to do that. I just... Um, one of the people that I follow on Instagram just went on a European cruise, and it looked beautiful. Right? It looked so, like... I don't know. I would love to do that. I'm concerned about the Enchante menu. Oh, somebody concerned else. Concerned like you want to see it or concerned like you saw it and you didn't love it. Okay. Wish food options. We'll definitely be showing that. Toy Story Splash Pad. We'll be showing that. Food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, everyone who's going to Enchante says it's not that good. Really? Oh. So one of our favorite servers from uh, Remy's went to Enchante. They said they were going to. Yeah. We don't we don't have confirmation like we haven't seen we, them. We there. haven't seen them yet. Yeah, but he was very he sounded very excited about it. Like he said the restaurant was beautiful, he said the food was amazing, but I guess he wouldn't tell us like if it wasn't amazing. Right. <laughs> so He's like I work for Disney. It's terrible. <laughs> um I don't know. I'm excited to see it and experience it for myself and then we'll let you know kind of what we think. Ooh, okay, the pools, any Easter eggs to be on the lookout for. Okay. I'll have to look. It's a good question. Andy said the trackers are what's been lacking from the wish. Oh. I wish that we hadn't been able to go sooner. We did have an earlier cruise booked, but it was one of the ones that was canceled because they pushed back the opening. Right. So we had to rebook and we didn't get as good of a date. Um, but we're going and I'm excited. Oh, figure out why Cinderella is so odd looking on the ship. Like the, the statue. I feel like I've seen this statue and it looks normal. Hmm, I don't we'll take a look. We'll get a good look at it. Yeah. Um Steve says, What is both your opinions of Coronado Springs? Me and my wife went back in May for our honeymoon. Have we stayed at Coronado? Yes. What's at Coronado? That's the big tower, the new tower. Oh, Grandestino. Yeah, Grandestino. Gotcha. Um I And remember... I just stayed in the rodeo. What were the ones that I stayed in called? <laughs> were they called rodeo rooms? They were They weren't called rodeo they rooms. They weren't called rodeo rooms, but they're <laughs> they should be. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> it was so right funny. before my surgery. Yeah. That I stayed there. Um 
I don't, well, I can't remember. Yeah. I remember I was pregnant when we stayed in the Grandestino Tower. Right. And I remember I don't think I got a very good night's sleep because I was pregnant. Okay. Um, But that's all I remember about it. It was so long ago. Um, Anto says, will you take Jackson anytime soon to the sci-fi dine-in theater? I think he would absolutely love that. I Maybe. He, I really think that he would like it a lot. Okay. Just because you like sit in a car. Right. And I think that would just be so like, like such a novelty for him. But I don't know. I, okay. So as far as indoor dining goes, we have been really holding back on it because we want to make sure that we don't get COVID obviously for this cruise. We want to make sure that we can get on the cruise ship. Right. So that's why we've been like extra cautious. A lot of people left comments when we were at um, the contemporary and they're like, Hey, you ate at steakhouse 71, but you took it back to your room. Like, why did you keep getting it to go? Right. It was because we really just didn't want to add any more of a risk of getting uh, COVID. Right. So I think maybe after the cruise. Ranchero. Ranchero, Ranchero, remember on The Simpsons? Canyon Arrow. Oh, the Canyon Arrow. Canyon Arrow. <laughs> um, you maybe... sang that song? No. That was, uh, what's his name? Junior. Hank Williams, Junior. Oh, okay. Um, but maybe after the cruise, maybe we'll try some indoor dining? Yeah. I don't know. Since Jackson... We have other stuff, too, though, that we can't have COVID. Yeah. So that's there's true. just like, that's the issue is like, we're doing things... And like, I don't want to, the first time that I had COVID, we had to postpone a trip to California. Yeah, it was so that sad. Was, that was <laughs> stressful and sad. And I don't, just don't want to do that. Yeah. You know? So like. Like we lost a little bit of money on it too. I think it ended up costing us more because we had to rebook some things. Yeah. So it's just like not something that we want to have to go through again. <laughs> right. Like the biggest thing was the Oogie Boogie Bash tickets. Yeah. I had I mean, already bought tickets. And we got our money back, didn't no. we? No. Oh, we lost out on that? Yeah. I just, I gave those. Oh, gave that's right. We gave, them to, we gave them to our friends. That's yeah. right. Um, yeah. So anyway, maybe one day in the future we will venture back into indoor dining. But just right now it's tough because we're trying really hard to get on this cruise. Right. So. And we got one more shot for Jackson too. Yeah. Um, ooh, Hannah said, when will you go to Dollywood? So oh, we went man. to Dollywood a few years ago and they Did are, you? yeah, the new coaster. Yeah. I'm super excited. Looks, Jackson's tall enough already to ride it. Well, I, I watched the ride through that they that they tweeted out. It's called like Black Bear Run or Big Bear Run. Big Bear Run, yeah. Okay. And it looks like a very like there's no real scary, it's, scary like parts. Yeah, it it looks like a floaty we're just going through the woods type yeah, like, thing. Just coasting. Yeah, well there's one section like it starts off, it's like I feel like I think it's a launch coaster though. It's got like three launches in okay, it. Okay, okay. Um the first section kind of feels, I don't know if it's the first section, but looking down at it, because I didn't watch the POV, mm -hmm. um, but like looking down on it, there's one section that's just kind of like, like kind of like this everywhere. Oh, no. And then there's another section that just kind of just goes off through the park. And it's just kind of like up and down, just like straight, just yeah. kind of like a little bit flowy like this. And it then it looked like an easy ride. Yeah. But I don't know if Jackson, we'll have to see. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody said, uh, mushy slushy said, seems a lot like Slinky Dog. But I think Slinky Dog is even more like. Yeah. Slinky Dog is probably more intense than this one. Hmm. Because it, it, this one's a lot longer too. This one's long. It, yeah. It was very long. Yeah. I think they said the whole entire coaster takes up something like 10 acres or something ridiculous. So we get this. Um, we get this question a lot. Sorry, Jay. He says, we're relatively new subscribers and wondered what's the origin of now it's time to pay the price. So we answered this in last week's live show too, but I want to answer it because I feel like people ask, um, and I don't, I don't want to like, you know, keep it from you, right. but it's basically, it's just our way of saying like, um, to like subscribe and comment. Right. So like ne we've watched the video and now it's time for you to pay the price of liking the video, commenting on the video and subscribing if you haven't already. Right. It's like, a, you know. Top launch speed of 45 miles an hour, 65 feet tall. Hmm, okay. That's not bad. Six, six and a half stories. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was just looking at my notes. Cody said, um, my nephew, it just turned one month old, which happy month anniversary. And how young is too young to take to the parks? That's, I feel like that's a, that's up to the parents. Like I, we can't make that decision for you. But for us, what we did is we, um, waited until Jackson got his first set of shots. Right. We didn't want to take him before he was like immunized from the things that he could get in the park. Right. So he was a little over two months old. Three. 
Three months old, right? I think he was two months old. Because, like, literally the very next week, COVID started. Oh, yeah. Like, literally the next week okay. is when the parks, like, shut down for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I'm four months old then. Wait, yeah. Was it three or four? I can look. Okay. Really quick. But, yeah. Um. Um, hi, Monique. Thank you for coming. I wanted to mention something. Yes. Going back to Halloween Horror Nights, and I know we're kind of like jumping around a little bit. Yeah. But there was something that I wanted to mention because I think it's an interesting piece of Halloween Horror Nights folklore. Um, and that is that they planted corn. They didn't plant corn. There is corn this year. Oh, is there? So in the New York Scare Zone, which we don't know what it is. We're thinking it has something to do with candy. Mm -hmm. um, they have put fake corn. There's a, like a printed backdrop with corn on it. Mm -hmm. And um, every time that they put corn, they plant corn for Halloween Horror Nights, a hurricane comes. Yeah. So as soon as people started seeing those photos of that, every all the ha Halloween Horror Nights fans were like, oh, great. I better go out and get some bottled water now, I guess. <laughs> like people are like get, re getting ready for uh, a hurricane. Oh, uh, Gouge Glamour said it's bamboo, not corn. What? That's just what they said. I mean, the, it's the printed stuff is corn. Yeah, but they didn't grow corn. Okay. So maybe there's not going to be. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I like that. My fajitas. My fajitas. Um, um, but the bad news in what you're saying is that they have just started tracking something off the coast of Africa. Oh, have they? Yeah, like a little, a little <sighs> upwelling. Okay. Nothing, nothing named or anything like that. But like oh, gosh. a little something out there, a little sprinkling. I hope, something. yeah, I hope that we don't have any crazy uh, weather this year. I'm like really not looking forward to what. I also wanted to air a grievance here about <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights. Well, good, because it's Festivus. Okay. Now's the time. Uh, so have you seen the pictures of the scare zone with like the tractor and yeah, stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The judge's booth. Yeah. Right? That's just like a, a printed picture on the outside yeah doesn't that seem strange like wouldn't in years past they like build that yeah. rather than just put like a picture like a hmm. like a like a sign like are they cutting corners this year right well they probably had to pay a lot for the weekend probably <laughs> but also like i'm wondering if it has something to do with yeah, I guess, I don't know. Because we had a tribute store last year. I was thinking like maybe they were like putting more money somewhere else, like into Here's the houses. Here's the thing. I'm okay with that as long as we don't get black hallways in our houses. Oh, that's, is, California. Like if, that's, if that's all they do, I'm fine with it. But as long as we don't get the black hallways in the houses. Yeah. So just oh, as like so letting funny. you guys know. Sorry. That is what happens in Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. There are these just like hallways that are just nothing. Yeah. It's just blackness. Like black walls, black ceiling, nothing. And everybody always says like, that's a scene that was cut out. Yeah. So, for budget. So, um, the Savage Mister said, is Jackson going as Eddie Munson? That would be so cute. Oh, yeah. If he was like a little Eddie Munson. Little. Like with a little, little wig. D &D yeah, and like action. his little, like, what is it? The Hellfire Club Hellfire shirt. Club, yeah. And like, a, yeah, that'd be cute. Um, I don't think he is, but that would be cute. Right? That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, something else that people often ask us is, especially coming into the Halloween season. Mm-hmm. Are we going to be taking Jackson to Not So Scary? And uh, not yet. Just because I feel like his sleep is more important. And he will have plenty of chances in the future to go to Not So Scary. Yeah. He, like, if anybody has a toddler, then you know, like, when they don't get their sleep, it's just really not good for anybody. Right. Like, it's not good for him. It's not good for us. Like, it just isn't good. So... We're going to keep him on his schedule. Another question that we got when we were at the Contemporary, which I thought was like an interesting question because they were saying how, you know, it was a special family trip. We should, we didn't really need to stick to a schedule. Why did we have to come back for the nap, like, and break up his day? Um, he needed a nap. Right. It was like over 100 degrees. It was very hot. We got up early that morning. Like, we don't force him to take a nap. Like, he needs a nap. Right. He's tired. And he'll even tell us, like, I'm tired. So um, that's why we do that. Right. <laughs> also, I needed a nap. It was <laughs> it was over 100 degrees. It was crazy hot. Right. Um, Jackson will not sleep in a stroller. No, we've tried. We could never plus, get him to sleep in a stroller. Yeah, plus, like, if the hotel was right. He won't even right, get in the stroller. Right. But uh, the hotel was right there. Like, why yeah. would we... 
have him sleep in 100 degree weather when he could just go sleep in the air conditioning. We saw so many babies. Like, it makes me so sad. We saw so many babies that were just way too hot, like red, sweaty. They just, they, I don't know. I don't want to do that to Jackson. So we just took him back. Um, and we, we definitely like kind of plan for that in our trips. So um, everything works out, but there's just always that question in the video. So I just want to make sure I answered it. Oh, have you ever thought of going to Holiday World in Indiana? I definitely, we, yeah. we have thought about it. So don't when, they, don't they give out like free Coca-Colas or something? I don't know. But when we had our PO box open, people would send us stuff from Holiday World, like um, maps and like brochures and just stuff about it. And it always looked so cool. So I for sure want to do that. I have so many pictures. I'm just trying to go back and find when we did the, uh, did Jackson's first trip to the park. It was probably should have just looked on Instagram. It was when we went to, I don't remember. Was it Instagram? I'm thinking of the last trip, I think. Okay. They, the, okay, yeah. Because that was when we went to Food and Wine, and like literally the next day the park closed. Let's see here. So, um, really quick, this person, let me see if I can go down. Uh oh. How do I get over here? Okay, here we go. Oh, you got it. This person, where is your comment? Where said, is okay, your Steve comment? said, regarding the Disney Wish, what restaurants do you pay for to dine in? So I did see, obviously, Enchante, you pay extra for that. That's not included. Palo, you pay extra for, unless you're like a platinum member, then you get like one free Palo dinner, I think. Um, but you also pay for, there's a bar that you pay for the food in there too. February 6th, 2020. Mm, okay. So he was born uh, November 19th. No, November 29th, 2019. Sorry. Mm -hmm. November 29th. So December, January, February. Yeah, he was like three months old. Okay. Yeah. Um, Wait, there's a bar that you have to pay for food? Yeah. Is it like a lot of food or is it just like snacky things? No, it's like things? appetizery stuff. Appetizers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What it was bar like is that? Chicken wings. I can't remember. Okay. Um, But yeah, it was like chicken wings and stuff like that. Okay. But you had to pay extra for it. So maybe we'll try that just to see if it's worth it. Right. Um, have you been to the Spirit Halloween store yet? I don't think there are any open yet. There isn't. Yeah, they're not open yet. So we did. Okay, actually, really quick. Speaking of, um, it's the Irish pub is what Jody said for the stuff that you pay for. Okay. So speaking of Spirit Halloween, we have three videos to choose from that can go up tomorrow. And I wanted to let you guys choose what video will go up tomorrow. One of the videos is where we went to um, check out like the vintage. So if you remember, oh, can we create a poll? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yay. Okay. So um, when Tim was looking at the Halloween boutique in Islands of Adventure in the last HHN update video, he saw all of these like really cool retro, like vintage Halloween decorations. And one of them was that Anna Lee like mouse doll. And we actually, found, a lot of you guys were like, that's an Annalie mouse doll. They're made in New Hampshire. Um, they, you know, you can buy them here. So we found all these really cool decorations around town. And we did just kind of like some Halloween shopping. But we also went to this cool cafe. So there's that. It's like a home vlog, basically, but like a shopping vlog. So there's Halloween shopping. There's also a resort tour. I won't tell you which resort because I, I want it to be a surprise. Can I not add another? I can only, I can only do two. Oh, no, really? Well, I can only do two. Oh no. What kind of silly what Or what was the other one? Or it was the um the cheese stroll. Cheese stroll. Yeah. Okay. So how do I do that? Do I do I'll put this one out and then we'll do like you know <laughs> like uh like a bracket system. But like how would you like is okay. Oh, right. wait, everybody's saying, okay, Halloween shopping, do all three vids. I can't do all three because I, I need to put them out like day by day. So I'm going to do Halloween shopping or what was the other one that you just said? Oh, cheese. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Emil's? Yeah. I'll just put cheese. Yeah. <laughs> cheese. Stroll. Just do cheese stroll. Stroll. Okay, let's see. Does it pop up here? Oh, it went to the community tab. Oh, there it is at the top. Oh. Neat. Can you guys see that at the top of the chat? Did it show up for you? Did they see it? I mean, everybody's saying Halloween. Oh, yeah, Halloween. Halloween shopping. Halloween. 
See, so here's what it is. Okay, so I'll put up the Halloween video tomorrow then. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, everybody can see it. Look at that. 65% of people are saying Halloween shopping. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty exciting. interesting. I wish that I could do more than just two options. Right? Like, it should be at least three. Well, because the poll was like yes or no. Yeah. So it was like a yes or no question. <laughs> it's kind of fun though, right? That we were able to do that. I can do the cheese stroll next. Yeah, for sure. That can be the next video that comes out. So you'll still get to see that video. It's just which one do you want to see first? But okay. I wanted to give you guys the chance to pick which video because you're here. You're in the live show. So I want you guys to be a part of it. Oh Wish no, Chris, Chris said cruise. he can't see it. Oh no. What do you what what system are you on, Chris? Are you on like your phone or something? Maybe that could be it. I also want to say to Chris, um, I love reading your comments on the videos. So thank you for commenting on the video. We Why appreciate it. Because he always leaves like really nice comments. Well, well thank you. Yeah. The a lot poll, of you guys do. So I appreciate it. The poll was up for a second and then disappeared. Oh, oh is no. it gone? Everybody's saying they can see it. Okay. Do more polls. Fun. <laughs> should I do that? Should I do a poll on if we should do more polls? Should we do more polls? <laughs> Oh, um, Disney is my jam says I can't see it. I'm on my phone. So I wonder if you're uh, like okay. mobile, if you can't see it. Somebody says I saw it on my phone. Oh, I don't maybe, get it. Maybe you're not in the app. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I couldn't tell you how this works. It's at the top. Um, more polls. <laughs> more polls. Polls on polls. Um, what is a cheese stroll? So at Epcot's Food and Wine, uh, Festival, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> they, International they, Food and Wine Festival. They have an Emile's Fromage Montage, which is basically just a cheese stroll. You can try five different items with cheese. And then after you get your stamps for each cheese item, you get a completer treat like for free. And Tim did that. Yes. Yeah. It was that was the most stressful completer treat I've ever had in my life. Why? Because it can melt. Yeah. And people are like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, I need to eat this before it melts. <laughs> Because I can't buy this again. Like, you can't just, like, if it oh, melts, yeah. you can't just be like, oh, I'll just get another one and I have another time. Oh, no. You have, to, you have to go through the whole cheese stroll again. Right. So, like, I was like, I need to take a picture of this first. <laughs> Run away. Will you your... seen Lightyear yet? Not yet. No, I want to. So, um, I want to answer this really quick. A few people have asked, are we going to open our P.O. box again? And no, we're not. We just, no. we have no more space for any more things. So I don't I need to start making space. Yeah, we have to like figure out I need to like organize some of the things a little bit better yeah. and create more space as far as like organizing the boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need to figure that out. Yes. I'd like to clean up the garage. Yeah, we got to do the garage. And for I want to sure. redo the, the laundry room. Oh, Lori said, we cried watching Jackson's haircut. That was so magical. Thank you for sharing with us. I'm so glad that you guys liked that video. I had such a good, like, that was the perfect day. We had such a good day. It was a really great family day. Really, really good. I teared up when the Dans were singing. It was, it, and Jackson was, like, in awe of them. Like, right? He, I don't think, his face, he's like. He's like, they're singing. <laughs> he loved singing. it. Yeah. Um, Heather says, have that company come out and do your garage. We actually talked about having them come out and do the garage. And then, um, I just, I need to get back in touch with them. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to ask you guys really quick or yeah. you all really quick is, so we recently stayed at Contemporary. Oh yeah. And we wanted to ask, is there any resort at Disney that you guys have yet to see us stay at, that you guys want to see us stay at, or one that we have stayed at that you're like, you guys should go back there. So we had, um, I, my plan is to do like, we just did a quick weekend trip. We yeah. stayed, it was like Friday. It was <laughs> the weekend. We just stayed Friday and checked out Sunday. And so it was just easy. It was easy yeah, to was just like nice... go on the weekend. Oh, Beach Club. Beach Club. Old Key West, Riverside, Pop, Polly. I would love to go stay at Polly. Um, yeah. Boardwalk was another one that we haven't stayed at. Coronado Springs. So we did stay at the Beach oh. Club and we really did enjoy it. Somebody says you should check out some of the hotels around Disney Springs. Which ones are those? Like the good neighbor ones. I just really like the idea of staying on Disney property. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I think that um, one of the things that always was a like such a plus for me mm -hmm. is the restaurant selections at Disney hotels. 
Yeah. Um, another one. Yeah. Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think Jackson would really like that. Oh, yeah. If we had like a savanna view. Yeah. I think he would like his little mind would be blown. Like there's a there's a giraffe, a giraffe. right there. Yeah. That'd be really neat. And they also do the where you can like drive through it. What's it called? It's like the. Are they still doing that? Yeah. I saw somebody talking about it. Oh, OK. Yeah. So. Um, and then I also wanted to mention this, too, because during the contemporary stay, a lot of people were like, why didn't Lynn come with you? You guys don't talk about her anymore. Um, so she, that was the weekend. She doesn't work on the weekend. That's why she wasn't there. Right. But she's, yeah, she's still here. She's still like, that's why we were able to go and look at the Halloween decorations and have like a little date day because Jackson stayed at home with her. And um, yeah, so yeah, she's still with us. She just didn't come on the weekend. That's all. Right. Ooh, Jennifer says Cabana Bay or Hard Rock. Those are two completely different animals. <laughs> <laughs> so we stayed at Hard Rock a few times and it was before Jackson though. I don't mm -hmm. think he was with us. He stayed there once. Did he? Mm -hmm. I wanted to go they have these rooms called Little Rockstar Rooms or Future Rockstar Rooms. Very difficult to get. Yeah. But yes. But I think he would love that. It has like a stage and he loves to sing. So it's like a, a stage where you can sing and it lights up and stuff. Yeah, they have these little like floor tiles that you step on and they like yeah. change colors. I would love to get one of those rooms. Yeah. So Is Margarita Margaritaville near Disney? It is, and we've stayed there, um, and we loved it. Yeah, it's like right behind Animal Kingdom, yeah. pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, <laughs> taking Jackson to Bush Gardens to pet the kangaroos. Interesting. Okay. Interesting idea. Kagan Compass is where the appetizers are. Okay. Oh, on the wish. On the wish. Okay. Um, wish more Disney resorts had balconies. Mm. Yeah, there's there's some interesting uh, like notations between the different resorts. Yeah, like depending on if you enter the room inside versus outside. Mm, okay, I right. I feel like if you enter it from outside, there's not going to be a balcony. Mm -hmm. But if you enter it from inside, then there might be a balcony. Might be, yeah. Um. Somebody asked. What is the best hotel to stay at if you go to Tokyo Disneyland? Oh, and man. so we only stayed at one. We've only been there one time and we only stayed at one hotel. But we really loved it um, was the Hilton. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. And it was we stayed club level and we got free breakfast every day. And it was really good. Yeah. And the and it service changed every day. Yeah. The, and it was different every day. And you got like traditional Japanese breakfast items. But they also had things that like. A westerners might like might enjoy um right. but it was it was really delicious and the service was so good at the hotel we stayed for five days no seven days it was a lot yeah we stayed for seven days and they said that most people only stay for four days and they were really happy to have us yeah. for as long as they did like they personally thanked us they gave, gave us, like us a bag of candy yeah like a little um, bag of japanese like hard candy and it was awesome yeah yeah it was very clean like it was amazing we loved it uh, is the Four Seasons close to Disney? Which uh, are Disney or Disney? We're talking about Tokyo Disney. I don't know if there's a Four Seasons in Tokyo. I think Disney. they're talking about our Disney. Okay, yeah, it's pretty close. It's right next to um, Disney Springs. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Fantasy Springs? I don't know what that is. I don't either. So I don't know if I have any thoughts. Oh, what hotel would you recommend for Tampa Bush Gardens? So we always stay at the same hotel, and it's the one like right across the street. What is it yeah, called? Home to Suites or Home... Home to Suites? Is that what it is? I think that's the one. Yeah. It's, um, a, it's by Hilton. You get like a really big room. Yeah. We enjoyed it. It's nice. Yeah. They it's, have breakfast in the morning and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Like, it's reasonable. Please look into the Zero Gravity Suite at the Spa in The Wish. Zero Gravity okay. Suite at the Spa. Hmm. I will look into it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how uh if we'll be able to get it on the one that we're going to or the one that we're going on how is disney while pregnant and i think that depends on when what time of yeah, year I was you are say, pregnant because when when i was pregnant and we were there it was very hot so yeah. um it was sometimes not as fun as it used to be because it was so hot and when you're pregnant you're already like hot like a little oven yeah so and it's a lot of walking so just like be prepared to like wear super comfortable shoes, bring things that are going to keep you cool. Um, I feel like I'd recommend Disneyland if you're pregnant. Yeah, because we went there for our baby moon. 
What? The some of the cues are very tight, though. Yeah, but it was I would I was still I guess okay. If you're facing forward, your most of your mass is like <laughs> forward. Yeah, I I don't know. I loved I loved Disneyland when I was pregnant. Um, we did our baby moon there, and it was a really great trip. I think because it was such a special trip, it was just like nothing was gonna make me have a bad time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This is a funny one. Do you think truffle fries are worth the upcharge? Asking for a friend. Um, Just in general. I mean, I don't I I like them. How much are they upcharging? I mean, are they worth like a dollar or two more? Yeah. yeah. I would say yeah. Um, is it true that strollers get stolen often at the parks? I talked I, to somebody the other day that their stroller got stolen. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. During like a rainstorm. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Right? Like all their stuff was in it? I don't know. I didn't add, like get into detail about it. What happened? What did they do? I don't know. They just said that they were having a bad time. I was like, oh no, what's going on? And they're like, oh, our stroller got stolen and this got happened and this happened. Oh my God. Like their mother fell. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was a bad trip for them. I think that like I was always paranoid about that because somebody, when we were doing a live show, somebody said they were like, be sure that you put a lock on your stroller. And I was like, why? <laughs> like, well, because the stroller that we have is like an expensive stroller. Mm-hmm. It's it's not an uncommon stroller. It's just expensive. Right. And I want to say we probably paid like over a thousand dollars for it. Like all together for all the all stuff, the, like accessories and everything. Yeah. yeah. So I I obviously don't want to lose a thousand dollars, but right. like I can't believe somebody actually stole their stroller. So and I didn't want to mention this to their <clears> face, <throat> but like cast members move strollers often. Yeah. And like. I wanted to ask, like, well, do you think it just got moved? Well, why didn't you tell them that? Well, because it was, like, days later, and, like, there was no chance of them being, like, oh, yeah, it, it got moved. It would probably just make them feel bad. Oh, no. That they didn't check to see if it got moved. Well, yeah, but maybe it would be in Lost and Bound. Right. I don't know. Well, yeah, but I would have told them. Well, I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got our stolen at Universal years ago. I can't believe that. Oh, put an air tag on your stroller. Yeah, we That's have one. That's a good idea. We have one in the diaper bag, so like, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. But that would make me so upset. Like, I would cry. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, any updates on Tron? Just they're running it occasionally. <laughs> it's the lights on. Uh, any news on Phantasmic? Nothing. Surprisingly. Hmm. Like... I wanted to mention this about Halloween Horror Nights, too, is like the we like what, like two weeks ago or something like this. We were talking about um, we were talking about how they haven't made very many announcements for Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. And like it's getting closer now. Yeah. And like they're putting out props and set pieces like I feel like they should make announcements. Right? I don't know. what I don't know why they're waiting so long. They're, I'm sure there's a reason, but like I don't understand. What's right. the reason? They got to They got to sell tickets. <laughs> Thousand dollars for a stroller is a lot. Maybe it wasn't a thousand. I'll have to look it up. No, it was. Yeah. Because I remember you like, it, it's not like it was the stroller plus the bassinet oh, the insert car seat. plus the car seat plus that it was like it was it was like the stroller as a whole. Yeah, like a whole package. Yeah. Strollers are not cheap. I mean, you can get cheap strollers, and we do have a cheap stroller, but like it's the I, I don't know. They're just they're not cheap. Right. Ooh, are they doing breakfast at Garden Grill again? I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, w- I want to take Jackson to Garden Grill because I think he would think that was really cool. Yeah. We just got to get through this cruise and then maybe we can talk about indoor dining. Right. Um, is Jackson going to his first Oogie Boogie Bash? No, because once again, well, he went. He already went to one. Yeah, he went last year. Um, so we went in for... Like maybe hour? like two hours or two so hours? yeah we got to meet like agatha we saw zombie captain america yeah we did a couple of like the candy trails and we met some characters a couple of other like actual like not scary characters right and then i had to take him back to go to bed yeah but so i stayed then, for the rest of the yeah, night yeah you did the whole thing and then i just went back and went to sleep with them yes disney comped a rental after ours was stolen is this like do a lot of people have their strollers stolen Man, that makes me so scared. Right? Oh, I would I would just be so sad. Um, would you guys do a run Disney? So I did the Star Wars 10K like a few years ago and I loved it. It was really fun. 
I had, it was like, I had a lot of fun training for it. It was like, the metal was really cool. I had a really good time. I felt really good afterwards. And then you had talked about maybe doing one because you started like actually running. Right. So, but when we, when we looked into it, it sold out so quick. Right. We couldn't get in. Uh, But I did find out that there are times where like it comes back available. Oh, okay. So I might try to do that too. Oh, Joanne says no breakfast Uh, at uh, Garden Grill. I wonder why. I don't know. Well, probably because they're, they don't have, uh, I don't know how to put this without breaking it to the kids. Uh, there's not enough people working right now. (laughs) Um, so really quick up collector says I used a bike lock on our last trip. I'm guessing for your stroller, but what did you lock it to itself? Like you lock the wheel. Oh, so they can't. Yeah, but then the cast members can't move it. But also what somebody told me is that they don't steal. Sometimes they don't steal the whole stroller. They just steal the top. They just steal the, like the, the, seat? the car seat part. Yeah. Oh. I know. I That's was like, terrible. what the heck? <laughs> How do you get home after you steal the car seat? I don't know. Wow. Um, any plans for Jody, dining reviews at Universal? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jody said, do you ever go to the parks without recording just for the fun of it? Yeah, we do. So last week I went to Discovery Cove and had like a girl's day with one of my friends and it was amazing. I didn't take a single picture. I didn't film anything. Yeah. Um, Yeah, we do, we definitely do. Like there are days where we we miss videos um, because of things like that, because we didn't film. We were just having fun. Right. Um. Is Jackson big enough to ride Tyranidan flyers yet? Yes. He is, but I don't know if he's ready for it yet. Right, because he, he, he would, in my opinion, I think that he would prefer to sit next to somebody. Yeah, I think so. And in so. Pterodon, Pteranodon Flyers, you sit. Like in front. In front. Yeah. And so that, I don't know if he would like that. And he would have to be in front. The heavier person sits in the back. Right. So if he went with one of us, we would be in the back. And I just don't know how he would like being up so high. So, Yeah. I heard that in the midsection of the ship, there's not enough elevators. There are no elevators. So everybody has been talking about the elevator situation on the Wish, and I'm that's the one thing I'm kind of nervous about. Right. But, um, ooh, Caitlin says, still thinking about an RV trip, and I think that actually would be really fun to do, especially when it gets cooler, because maybe we could go and see, like, snow. Although driving in the snow sounds scary. With an RV? Yeah, that does sound scary. It sounds- <laughs> Really scary. <laughs> when can Jackson go on Rip Ride Rocket? Not for a long time. He always wants to ride it, though. Every time That's... we pass by it, he's like, can I go on that one? No, it's <laughs> going gonna, gonna to be a while. Yeah. Um, Tiki Man oh. fan says, why would there be no elevators? There, I don't know. Like, it doesn't make any sense. We took a bike lock for our stroller in Hollywood, Su- Hollywood Studio Security made me take it off and return it to the car. Really? Yeah. I guess it depends on if it was like a chain couldn't bring a chain into Hollywood Studios. Yeah. But I feel like you could bring like a cord cord style. Hmm. Or like a some kind of wheel lock. People always said just take take one of the wheels off. Yeah, somebody did tell us that. Or like take both of the wheels off. And I think that's when somebody said they'll just take the car seat then. And I was like, what the who are these people? Right. Like why why are they doing this? Uh are you guys gonna pin trade soon? So, okay, I said I was going to bring my pin trading lanyard to Disney Springs, and then somebody said it doesn't matter because you can't pin trade at Disney Springs right now anyway. So I need to find where I can pin trade. I, I should have brought you it. You can. No, somebody said you can't. They have a mystery. I thought I saw a mystery box like they do in the other places. We definitely saw it at Magic Kingdom. Right. But, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look into that because I feel like I saw it. Plans to go to Hoop Do Review since it's back. Um, we're still not doing indoor dining yet, so I think we'll talk about that like once we we do that. Happy birthday, Michael. Uh Kim said, if you had oh. your time again, would you still do YouTube? I think yeah. I can get rid of this poll now. Oh. And okay. Poll. Yeah, so I think we are going to put up the Halloween shopping video tomorrow. Cheese Troll only got 35% oh, of the 1,700 no. <laughs> votes. Oh, man. Um, Will you wear a flapper outfit to the 1923 restaurant? I don't think so. 
I don't have one of those. Actually, I do have one of those. You do? Yeah, I got it at a thrift store um, years ago, but I don't think it fits me now. Oh. Yeah. Dang. It's in like a plastic, like a shopping bag somewhere. Oh. Yeah. I'd just, like to see this. It's like a beaded black. Like I feel like it's in that closet right there. Probably. I probably <laughs> put it in my like costume uh, bin. Oh, no. Allie voted for the cheese troll. Well, guess what? That's going up the next day. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, no. Let's... Miss Liz C says, we found a bed bug at Pop. Disney confirmed it. They took all of our belongings. It was awful. All of your belongings? What? They can't do that, can they? Well, they probably had to sanitize them. Did they give them back? Well, yeah, right? They had to, right? They're not going to take all your stuff and not give it back to you. But that's crazy. <laughs> all of your belongings? Oh, no. At Pop. Okay, well, that's frightening. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, but I guess it can happen anywhere, really. So Joshua said, if you worked at the parks, what would you want to do? I'd want to do um, third shift. I don't want to be like up third shift, but I'd like to. Or fixing no, things? fixing stuff, yeah. Okay. See, I would rather do maybe custodial because you can just kind of like do your own thing. They're just yeah. kind of like always off by themselves, like doing stuff. It's like cleaning up popcorn. Yeah. Or barf. I don't want to clean up barf. But mm. um, so I would do I would do custodial or I would like to work at an indoor ride. Oh, no. What? Mindy, I'm staying at Pop next week. Oh, no. Well, I guess make sure you look at everything. My, oh, my. Oh, Chris mm. said, um, would we like an in-depth tour of Shades of Green? We've yeah. done one. Oh, yeah, we did do one. That's yeah, right. Yeah, did end that tour of Shades of Green already. Oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. By the way, security did not like that. Yeah. They're like, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> and I was allowed to be there. Yeah. Like, there was a person there that was staying. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, walking around looking at everything. I think because you were filming, they were probably yeah. like, what are, you, what are you filming? Are you going to the Artemis 1 launch? I haven't planned it yet, but I would like to. I'd like to at least see it. Like, yeah. history in the making type thing. Um, but yeah, Chippendale Campfire Sing. Oh my gosh. Alex said, bed bugs happened to us at Pop a few months ago too. They took all of our clothes and heat treated it. We got 600 Disney credit to buy clothes and use on food. I can't believe, like, is this happening? Is this like a regular thing? I don't know. Wow. So far, everything's, people are saying is Pop. Uh -oh. Has anybody had bed bugs at other, any other place? <gasps> oh no. Um... Hints for a first timer going to D23. Oh man, that's hard. I feel still feel like I'm still a first timer because I've <laughs> only been once. Um, I mean, that's hard. Plan it out. Like, figure out what panels you want to go to, and try to get into them. the uh, The parks panel will be the hardest to get into because it's that's going to be the most popular. But like the Marvel stuff will be also be hard to get into. So just be prepared to like wait in line to get into those um i know people that stayed overnight for the parks panel like slept in the basement of the convention center oh wow really yeah like adam and everybody did that did they yeah oh my gosh okay so i don't know i don't know we had bed bugs at pop too wow oh, i can't no. believe that um somebody asked a good question too kelly said are you nervous about staying at hotels due to monkey pox it's kind of scaring me um, I think that it is something that's definitely on the forefront of my mind, uh, especially because of Jackson. Like, I don't know how a, a little kid would react to it. Just right. based on seeing like the people that have it, um, like on Instagram and on Twitter, people are kind of showing their experiences and a lot of them are feeling extreme pain. Right. So I would hate for Jackson to go through any type of pain. Um, and I know that it's uh, being spread through like, like sheets and stuff like they're saying don't try on clothes without washing them and you know any kind of contact with like a linen that has been exposed to it you can get it from that so right. i'm um nervous about that i would hope that disney because those are the places like we're normally staying at disney locations right i would hope that they are well you can smell the bleach on those sheets yeah i mean i hope that that they are really like still continuing on with the cleaning like the extra cleaning mm-hmm and it seems like they are, but like, you know, you never know. And I would think with the wish being so new, that's our next like big thing. I would think with the wish being so new that I wouldn't hopefully have to be as worried with like the linens and stuff. But as far as, you know, the pools and everything like that, I don't know. Like, how does it work with water? 
Well, water has chlorine in it. Right. So that should kill off any virus. Okay. Because that's the one thing that kind of I was nervous about was like the water situation. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's definitely something that like we're keeping an eye on. And I hope that it's something that kind of, um, you know, can get under control. But I don't know. I really don't. Wow. What? It's just, just ridiculous. What? Like, What's... Just uh, so many people are saying pop. That they had bed, bed bugs? Yeah. I can't believe that. Why are I've never heard this before. Right? How is this the first but time look, we're hearing look at this? this? The uh, they took our stuff and sanitized it. it. Took two days. Gifted us thirteen hundred dollars. And cast members stayed with us for three hours until two a.m. Helping us. If it wasn't for them, I would have been a crying mess. Helping you what? Like get new clothes. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. That's so scary. Ooh, in the last live, Jason says, in the last live, we talked about corn mazes. Take a trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania in the fall and take them to Cherry Crest Farms. Oh, okay. I would love to take them to a corn maze in a place that's not as hot as Florida. Right. Because we did go to one and it was just so hot here in the fall that it, it wasn't as fun as it could have been. Okay. Kimberly says that they stayed at Pop in June and did not have bed bugs. Yes, that should also be said. Yes. So <laughs> yes. Make a poll about bed bugs at Pop. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my gosh. We stayed at be- at Pop 10 times in three years and never seen any be- bed bugs. Okay, good. So, okay. It, so it's definitely not like um, the majority of the people have not gotten them, but it is still scary that it's a thing. But I guess, like I said, it can happen anywhere. Right. Like it's just, you know, it's unfortunate, but it can happen anywhere. Uh. There was something else that somebody said that I wanted to read, but I didn't. I missed it. No big deal. Uh, would you guys consider going to Hershey Park? Yes. Yeah, I would think. Okay, so we were watching. Um, Jackson loves to watch roller coaster POVs. Like, it's one of his favorite things to do. And he watched. There's this one video that's like all of the roller coasters from Hershey Park. And he loves it. And he watched yeah. it like over and over and over again. So I for sure think that he would like to go to Hershey Park, but I don't think he's big enough for a lot of those coasters. No, I mean, he definitely isn't. But. Yeah, but he liked watching the um, the POVs. Would you do a ghost hunting tour? We sure. did. We did do one. We did, yeah. yeah. We saw ghosts. We did. <laughs> Spooky. It was. The thing that I don't like... Uh, oh, real quick. Yes. Tim, honest opinion, has Magic Band Plus been a disappointment? No. And I think that people that say that it's a disappointment are only taking their feelings into account. And I know that Adam is one of the people that said that he's disappointed with it. I think, okay, so we have to look at it from a different point of view because we have Jackson, and Jackson loved it. Right. So... I, for me, it feels like a success because Jackson had such a good time with the statues, like just like doing the waving and hearing it talk to him. And then he was like, can we go do another one? Like he was really excited for it. And I think he would like the Batu Bounty Hunters game too. Yeah. But I will say that I am disappointed with how complex it is to set up, which it is very easy to set up, but still... A lot of people had issues like you have to update the magic band. You have to oh, yeah. have two apps. <laughs> yeah. Like you shouldn't need two apps to do anything, but you do. You need two apps. And I don't know. There are things that are the, the darn uh, enchantment. That was very disappointing. I think that like it just kind of depends on what you're looking to get out of it. Right. You know, and do you think it's worth the price is definitely like a personal it's a question that we can't really answer for you. But then I also, so we got a comment on a video recently. I can't remember which video it was, but they said, Tim, I don't enjoy these Disney sponsored videos. It's clear that they paid you to talk about the magic band. Oh, they didn't like that's, they, they didn't pay us to talk about the magic band. You bought the magic band on the opening day with your own money. Right. You went with Adam and did it like just to kind of show your true experience. Mm-hmm. And I also just want to mention that like if we were paid to talk about anything, we would have to legally tell you. Right. It was a it, like had paid promotion or it was a sponsored video. So right. like that's how you would know if somebody did pay us to talk about something. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting that they thought because you talked about it in two or uh, two or three videos cuz you talked yeah. about it at Well, but they thought that Disney was paying you to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it in another video too. Yeah, but it's not because it's sponsored. It's just because you 
you wanted it's, to try a new thing. Yeah. Like, like every other vlogger in Orlando. You know what I mean? Everybody has been talking about it. And then the other thing is like... And I don't think really quick, Liz Burt, um, Liz, sorry, I never get your name right. Liz said haters going to hate. And I don't think it was a hating comment. I think it was just a, it was just a comment that somebody, you know, that somebody made. I don't think it was a hater thing, right. but I just wanted to clarify that like it wasn't sponsored. Right. It was just, if we make a new video every single day, so we're always looking for new things right? so that we're not just showing you the same thing over and over again. So when this new thing came out, it was like, heck yeah, let's go talk about it. Plus that. And uh, I am kind of into the scavenger hunt aspect of it. Like, I know where all the statues are. I've seen all the statues. But, like, I like the idea of collecting the things. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm into it. You know? Yeah. So, Carol said, you have to legally tell us. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Yeah. Like, anybody, not, not just us, anybody who is being paid or has been given a free thing, they have to legally say, like, we got this free thing from Disney, you know, or... Disney paid for us to come into the park today. Yeah, or this video has paid promotion in it, which th it'll have like a little black box at the top of the video that says that too. Mm -hmm. So that it's like, and we'll even put it, we'll put it in the description. We'll say it in the video. We'll usually put it in a hashtag. We just really want you to know. I'm not um, saying that everybody will do that, but that's what no. you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, the uh, camera might turn off. Oh, actually, I think we need to go because it's we've been on live for over an hour and Jackson's going to wake up from his nap soon. Okay. So I do think that we have to go soon. Right. Um, My fajitas. My fajitas. Oh, no. Um, Camel Carmela, sorry. Carmela said, please give my husband a shout out. You often answer my questions and not his. His name is Mark Parton. Sorry, Mark. I didn't see your comment. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Dang, I'm sorry. Happy birthday to Kimmy. It's her birthday tomorrow. Oh, I wish as a pass holder living in Orlando, I could pay with my magic band. Me too. That's something that I've always wanted to be able to do that you've never been able to do. Why don't they? I think it's too complex because they would have to... When you pay with a credit card, you uh, you have to pay a surcharge like as the company. Mm -hmm. And so my thought process is that maybe they're like, well, if we give everybody the option to pay with a credit card, like through their magic band, um, we'll have to pay this surcharge more often. Like maybe they'll pay with cash uh, when they come. And okay. the people that are paying with their magic band are paying it just one surcharge at the end of their trip. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's I feel like it's a cost saving thing. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, OK. Oh, no, I got so, crap. oh geez. OK. You, what the heck? Oh, my goodness okay. gracious. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm not trying right. to laugh. No, that's okay. <laughs> you just got like bit by an alligator or right? something. <laughs> that, was, that was wild. Um, okay, so um, I think we are going to end the video now, but we're going to do another live show next weekend. Don't worry. You will see us live again soon. So if we didn't answer your question, ask us again on the next one if you're here and hopefully we'll get to answer it then. Yeah. So um, we will see you guys tomorrow with a Halloween decorating video or Halloween buying uh, shopping video. So thank you guys for helping us uh, plan out our content. You guys Real are awesome. Quick, somebody what? said, eat more bananas, Tim. I'll have you know that I eat one banana every day. One day he ate six bananas. One day he ate six <laughs> bananas. That was a wild day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming out to the live show. Uh, and we'll, we'll see, you guys, see you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow with the Halloween video. Yeah, I want to see what happens when I push this button. Nothing. Okay, just checking. What is, what's it supposed to do? Well, it wasn't supposed to do anything. I was just like thinking maybe it might do something. Oh, okay. Like it might turn the screen black or something. Oh. That would have been cool, right? I don't, yeah. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. And um, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. I know it's last minute usually, so thank you for coming. Really quick, Allison says, can't wait for cheese. That'll be not tomorrow, but the next day. Right, no, yes. So, or it'll if not the next day, the next day. It'll be Wednesday. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Oh, see you later, Mark Parton. Oh, yeah. Bye, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh.